Happy Friday, everyone. It's Jason from Mecha Studios. Uh, what I'm going to review today real quick are the Mecha Kali Macross Delta Valkyries. Now, these are just the first three that came out. Um, if you're familiar with Mecha Kali, you know they're technically no scale. Um, I want to say they're like 1 300th. I'm not sure because, you know, scale can vary from model to model. Um, the reason why I'm doing the video is I've had a couple friends over time Keep asking me, go ahead and make them, let's do a review, let's see what they look like before you buy them. So, uh, to be honest, I've had these for a couple months, you know, the last, the end of 2016 wasn't the greatest time for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and break these out and start actually working on them today. So, there'll be a two-part video. One is this one, the review portion, showing you the parts. The other one will be the completed models. How soon that'll happen, I couldn't tell you, and you'll see why. So, I have two VF31s, one is the J version, one is the S version. Then I have the VF171 or 171, depending on how you prefer to call it. And to be honest, I haven't watched all of Delta because it kind of lost me after the third episode. Not really into the dancing mecha thing, but hey, whatever. So yeah, let's go ahead and open up the VF31J real quick. So... Yeah, nice artwork. Pretty much shows you what it is here. And then you can see here, these are the your runners, your frames. That is the decal sheet right there. You know, just more nice art, some information. So we'll start with the box real quick. Now, like most Mecha Collies, they don't come with an instruction sheet. The assemblies information is all right here. Oops, it helps if I have it the right way. Yeah, so everything's there. Showing you what parts go where, so on and so forth. This is your decal application guide right here. I don't know why the camera just went crazy dark on me, so I'm going to turn on the flash. There we go. All right. Um, of course, how to attach the flight stand. that part again and this here it's turning out to be a crappy video I do apologize looks pretty straightforward it actually has quite a few parts so put that aside inside this box I have no idea what that is Bandai Highlight Etiquette something I'm assuming some of this is information about the series um, color guide for painting. Now this can be tricky because you actually don't know what colors those are unless you have an app on your phone like I do and sometimes that translation doesn't come out correctly. So anyway, toss this aside. So here's what you get. Like I said, the decal sheet is pretty big. Parts, gray and white parts. Let's open it up. Just allow me one moment here to find my knife. That has somehow disappeared. All right, here we go. Put the decals aside for a second. All right, so this is a four. Runner A2, which has most of the fuselage here, and the stand. Um, more than likely, I will not use the stand. I will most likely be replacing it with one of these. Just because I like the clear acrylic better than I do the stand that it comes with. Okay, But it looks like you might be able to reposition it somewhat. I'm not quite sure. A runner A1, which is going to be the front of the fuselage, the wings, and so forth. Runner A3, more of the tail wings, uh, the legs, aka main thrusters. And your gray parts, part B.
real nice detail on the, on the feet thrusters. So I hope I can it'll focus in. Apparently it doesn't want to. Okay. And anyway, so that's runner B. I'm assuming that's underslung gun. I'm not sure. The gun pod. Okay, so let's move on to these decals. Um not quite sure if these are water slide or if they're just actual stickers that you rub on. Um, but as you can see, they pretty much took away the need to paint. Um, let me see. That's the underside. Sorry about that. Let's see. Okay, so here. That's not a good example. Problem is, I'm trying to find where the cockpit is, and I am not. I can't. Oh, there's a cockpit. So here's the cockpit right here. This part goes on top of the cockpit. Um, might take a bit of ingenuity. I've seen people do it. Put it the right way. Um, yeah, this looks like it might be more trouble than it's worth. Um, so they're eliminating the need for you to paint. And honestly, I don't know if I'd be able to paint in this degree. It's nicely, but I don't know. I might have to get some more if I figure it out. So yeah, basically they're all the same. Um, now. The main question was, was the, are these going to be good for gaming? I don't know. Let me assemble one. Because there's a couple Starfighter games coming out. Uh, one of them is called Star Eagles that you can use whatever you have. Um, even though they're mechs, they're in fighter form, so why not use them as Starfighters? Up to you. Alright, so anyway, that's going to be the end of this one. And I'll see you later when I get the next one ready. Take it easy.